Oh, that was fast. <laughs> that was fast. Welcome home. It's good to see you back in one piece. No need to worry about the state of your shield. I'll fix it up for you whenever you come back to town. What a nice guy. Where's the pub? He said he would be at the pub. <laughs> oh wait, is this my house? Is he at home? <gasps> so you're back, and by the look on your face, I'd say you had a pretty successful time of it. Well done, my boy. I knew I, ha I, I knew I had it in you. <laughs> you had it in you. You better go and report back at the castle. I'll stay here. Okay. Oh wait, let me check if this. I got a helmet. Oh, <gasps> it increases. Yes. This is a crazy look. It's just like a big ass tower. Like, what the hell? Like, it looks semi normal, and then all of a sudden, this big, like, Seattle Space Needle in the middle. Is it the Seattle Space Needle or Washington Space Needle? Oh, hello. I have done it. I hear you defeated Sir Worthington. That's no mean feat, I must admit. Oh, well then who do I talk to? Well, you wanted me to go. Oh, I had to move up more. <laughs> Duh, you have to open the door. I thought you would wait out there. Okay, hello, sir. An exemplary demonstration of the very finest execution of what can only be described as... As... <clears throat> well done. Custom dictates that Her Majesty the Queen would now congratulate you. But as you will see, she is um, elsewhere at present. Accordingly, I have been composing a short speech in recognition of your admirable return from the walk. <clears throat> you were stonking. <laughs> Thank you. You now rank amongst Avalonia's most valued knights. Yes, you have taken your place as one of the worthy protectors of our great realm. I don't suppose, if I may be so bold as to inquire, that you happen to know the whereabouts of Prince Anlus? He was sent into something of a flap by Her Majesty's abrupt departure. I'm afraid he did not take kindly to being told he was not to accompany her. He is a fine young man, but when it comes to his mother, he can be somewhat willful. I must confess that this whole sorry business has left me feeling really rather, rather wobbly. Do I just go back? Like, hey, yo, dad, do you, you know where the prince went? Why do the doors- why does that door opening sound like the big gate doors opening? <laughs> Done already, lad. So, how did it go? You reported back to Her Majesty, I hope.
No, she wasn't at the castle. Then where's she gone? Huh? Who's that banging on the door at tea time? Hey, maybe it's that lass I was getting to know better at the pub last night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is I, Prince Anlas. Forgive the intrusion, but I must ask a favor of you. What an unexpected pleasure. Good to see you looking well, lad. I am far from well, sir. I fear for Mama. She has been behaving most uncharacteristically of late. Were her aloofness limited to her public demeanor, I should not be so troubled. But she is as a stranger to her own son. Her very flesh and blood. Hmm. My boy here was just telling me how she wasn't at the castle when he came back from the walk. Quite so. Mother has ventured off to Galantine Glades of all places. She is on her way there even as we speak. Galantine? There's a hot spring there that caps them all, I hear. I... I'm terribly worried. What if Mama is unwell? She absconded with barely a manservant in attendance. Such clandestine behavior is most perturbing. I... I have resolved to pursue her. Which brings me to the favor I wish to ask. Will you escort me? I see. So that's what you're after. But didn't you just say Her Majesty left in secret? Indeed. Well, she's not daft, lad. She has her reasons, I'm sure. She might not take kindly to being stalked. You mean to say, you refuse me? I, I'm sorry, Your Highness. And I cannot persuade you to reconsider? No, lad. I'm afraid you can't. Very well. In that case, I shall seek assistance elsewhere. Good day to you. I don't know. That lad's always been a sight too worried about his mum, if you ask me. Ah, I remember it landing him in trouble before now. Still, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a bit worried myself this time. I tell you what. Why don't you give the prince a hand, eh, lad? You're a man now. I can rely on you, right? Anlas is a stubborn one. He won't give up now the idea's in his head. But we can't let him go to Galantine alone. It's too dangerous. Wait, let me check the, um... The armor shop and the weapon shop. Like, maybe I can get another sword. Maybe. Wait, but I bet you didn't know. Uh, modifying? See, there's some weapons. <laughs> what it can be tampered to make them into even <laughs> like try, and into even more stronger and better -er ones. <laughs> if you can find the right geezer to tart tart them up for your daddy's int int. These fingers don't come free, of course. You need to find some special tampering materials and save up a bit of dosh first. But the results can be blinding, I'm telling ya. And not only does your weapon get stronger, <laughs> but you get- Oh, but you get new master strokes and all. Result! Oh well, yeah, if you're thinking about changing your equipment, you can only do it while you're while you're here in town. So don't go getting caught short, all right? Anyway, let's get down to business. This is the weapon shop. Oh god, now I gotta Google like what the weapons that can be tempered. Oh, <gasps> wait, do you just need five hundred? Do 
Do you, do you just need 500? What about the armor? Do you, can you temper armor too? Let me ch let me check. Okay, apparently he only has copper sword. But if I get 500, then I can apparently make the steel broadsword. Oh god. Hello? Oh, maybe I should get... Maybe I should get this. It's 250. The best offense is a good defense. Yes. Okay, I guess that means I'll be grinding to the 500 gold. You know what? The more... The, the other dungeons we go to, more dungeons we go to, the more money we'll get. I'm assuming. Okay, but I got some defense stuff. Now I gotta, I gotta go to church. Like, hold on, Prince, I just need to run to church to save. Hello, my friend. Ah, it's you. I hardly need mention how downcast I am about your father's answer. Whoever will I find to assist me now? But of course, being refused by Claymore hardly precludes my asking you. I know, he told me to do it. Will you accompany me to Galantine Glades? Yes. Thank you. Knowing I shall have you by my side raises my spirits no end. I am informed that monsters abide in Galantine. It falls to you to see me safely past them. Ah, uh, so this is why I appreciate like the Dragon Quest VIII, like party join things. They do like little mini like dances and shit. And they spin around and stuff. That's cute. Whatever happened to that? When you have made ready, Heck, this game came out after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am ready. Maybe we'll find something I can sell. Although, wait a second. Wait a second. Maybe, maybe I'll... I don't know what to use... Oh, it's a tempering material, okay. I was about to be like, maybe I can sell that, but now I'm like, oh, if I'm gonna use it eventually, then maybe I shouldn't so, sell that. You're off on an adventure with Prince Anlis, are you? Yeah. Well, I'd better hurry up and open the gates then, hadn't I? Can't you ask this guy? Like, hey, yo, did the queen pass by? Like, I guess she could have been, like, disguised as somebody else, but, like, <laughs> like did you see anyone Take care now, suspicious won't you? go Keep through the these gates? Keep the prince out of harm's way. And you would think they'd be more worried, like, hey, yo, you're the only Come. one going with we him? Like, haste. maybe we should bring, we like, a couple other people. No, he's mother. just like, hey, yo, you better keep him safe. Like, he could have brought someone else with him, too. Companions help you out oh, with their spells and abilities according to how their tactics are set. You can change their taxes, tactics to suit the situation. Even if your companion is still alive, your team will be defeated if you fall in battle. Uh, yeah, I'm basically like the meat shield. <laughs> Companions will use their spells and abilities automatically, but if you want to order them to use one directly... Oh, okay, you can do that. Wait, but do they have magic? Like, can they refuse? I mean, it would be nice. I forgot, like, if they can actually, like, attack, attack. Okay, spells. Oh, who knows this? Does he know this? I think he... Oh, wait, no, he has MP. Okay, so everyone else has MP. And you don't. Because <laughs> you don't you don't know any magic. Okay, that's nice. You can heal, though. Yeah. 
the prince returns. <laughs> oh wait, there was a rock. <gasps> Five gold. Another rock. <laughs> He's probably like, oh, a hundred gold. Oh, I need like five more of those. Actually, wait, how many? How, ma how many? How many gold do I have? Oh, sh I can't check, can I? Ah. Oh. Double level up. Oh, with jump scare. Hmm. Oh, that'd be crazy if they got back up again, because, you know, they're like zombies. Or what are they called? I guess they are zombies. Another rock! A hundred! Or a mini metal. Some enemies are able to cast the dim Dimini Shield. Dimini Shield spell, which shrinks your shield. Oh, you can hit it back. You can hit it back? Oh no, oh no. Kinda hard bringing it back after I swing. Curses. Hey yo, you know Sizz. You can hit him with a Sizz. Oh, he level 5. Did he not go through the, the walk? Because he's a prince, he didn't have to go through the walk? And maybe it was like so long ago for him that he lost all his XP. Oh, 92 XP? But 13 gold? Come on now. Oh wait. Rock. Damn it. Oh wait, there was a rock, right? There was a rock. Nothing. Man, after that one 100 one, it's all going downhill. Okay. I'm sure that'd be useful. See, we need more like that. Damn it. Ah. How can they have monster bones? They're slimes. Look, I see a break in the undergrowth and sunlight. There's a glade just ahead. Mother walked along this same path, but recently. I'm almost sure of it. What? What is that rumbling? Oh, I was gonna say, oh, she probably summoned, like, the... I don't know. Crazy death god or whatever. This not my garden. Trespassers will be persecuted though the organic female escaped you will not the beast makes its threats in earnest ready your sword comrade on guard have you have you looked at my shield Scrutinize the enemy carefully. You have a shield, boy. Use it. Oh, shut up. Oh, that was good. Yeah, you see that?
<laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Feel the death blow, hiya! Like that by <laughs> and all we get, all we get was Bravo. a lump of, of of iron ore. I think he gave you a hundred gold though. Yay! B thirty four people now heard of me. Oh, the power of my! Oh God! Can we actually find something else, please? <laughs> Like maybe uh, is there S rank in this game? Praise be to the goddess. The fiend is defeated at last. Come, we must make haste. Look, a hut. Someone surely resides here. But we must approach with ca- Quick, hide yourself! Mama! Too late. She's gone. Did you see her mask? She has taken to wearing it of late. Yeah, it looks hella evil. But she will not be drawn on why. It is a mystery, even to me. What business could have possibly brought Mother to this lowly lodging? Come. We must make our presence known. Who are you? P please be not afeared. We mean you no harm. We merely wish to inquire as to the affairs of your scarce departed visitor. What brought her to your shack, lady? That is none of your concern. <laughs> Forgive me, lady. I have not yet introduced myself. Anlus, Prince of Avalonia, at your service. Ah, uh, oui. Yes, I had in my mind that I had seen you before. My name is Florette. Enchantée. Ah, that bijou, your earring. It is the work of the great jeweler, Ricasso. It is. A present from Mama, in fact. Uh, but that is by the by. I command you to tell me why my mother was here. My brother. He... he was one of the heroes who defeated Xyphos. Ever since then, he is suffering from a malady. I tried to help him, but my magic was useless. He left me here alone. I do not know where he is gone. Forgive me, good lady, but I believe you misheard me. I inquired of my mother, not your brother. You say your brother battled the Deathbringer? Then you are the sister of Araval. Araval was one of those who fought alongside my late father against Xyphos. If you know this, then I believe I can tell you everything. Her Majesty came to meet my brother. She was on her way to the healing hot spring. But when I told to her that my brother was not here, it did not seem to surprise her. And? Is there nothing more you can tell us? Nothing unusual you noticed about her? Did she look well? Well? Oui. 
though that hideous mask made it hard to tell. Who is the designer? Someone famous? That is a question I should like to ask my mother. She took to wearing it without a word of explanation. So it was not a famous designer's caprice? But I was sure I recognized it. <clears throat> In summary, then, we know little more about my mother's intentions. What we do know is that she was on her way to a hot spring famous for its healing properties. Then there can be no doubt. Mama is unwell. I must return to the castle at once and attend to her. Forgive me, but I dare not tarry. Good day. Like, who says she's gonna go back, though? She could stay for a while. But of course. I knew I had seen the mask before. I assumed it must be because it was a work of a famous designer, but no. It is the mask I once saw when I was lost in the mountains. At Arondite Heights, I believe. I was just a young girl. I remember only that I found the mask so frightening. I do not have a good feeling about this. Why would the Queen wear such a mask? It was no coincidence that she was not surprised when I told her my brother had vanished. She knows something. Of that I am sure. I must meet with her again. I will go to the castle and I will demand from her the truth. It made me feel totally ignored. Like nobody cared. I'm just kind of there. Because he left without me and then she just went on this thing. She's just like going on her own and everything. She doesn't even ask me my opinion. Yeah.